Maximilian Schell, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, captivated audiences with his compelling performances and distinctive presence. Reflecting on the first time one recognized Schell prompts a journey into the realm of mid-20th century cinema, where his talent left an indelible mark. What sets Schell apart from his contemporaries in that era is not just his acting prowess, but also his ability to seamlessly embody a range of characters, from the intense to the charismatic. In the tapestry of Hollywood's golden age, Shell's threads stand out, weaving narratives that endure. As we delve into memories associated with this iconic actor, we invite you to share your most cherished encounters or personal experiences in the comments below. Your stories add layers to the cinematic legacy that Maximilian Shell left behind. Now, let's uncover some lesser-known facets of this classic Hollywood luminary. Did you know that Shell not only graced the silver screen but also made a mark behind the camera, earning acclaim as a director? This dual proficiency speaks volumes about his multifaceted contribution to the world of cinema. Explore more about Maximilian Shell, the man whose talent resonates through time, and feel free to share your own anecdotes. Your memories contribute to the rich tapestry of classic Hollywood history. Maximilian Schell, a luminary in the world of acting, possessed a charisma that transcended the silver screen. Born on December 8, 1930, in Vienna, Austria, his roots were deeply embedded in the rich soil of artistic lineage. His father, Hermann Ferdinand Schell, was a renowned Swiss poet and playwright, setting the stage for Maximilian's future in the limelight. Schell's journey into acting was not a predetermined path. Initially, he pursued a law degree, but the allure of the stage proved too potent to resist. He abandoned the legal realm for the theatrical one, studying at the Zurich University of the Arts. This transition marked the inception of a career that would redefine the contours of acting. In 1961, Schell catapulted to international acclaim with his role in Judgment at Nuremberg, a film that earned him the coveted Academy Award for Best Actor. This achievement was symbolic of his ability to embody characters with profound depth and authenticity. However, Schell's versatility extended beyond acting ventured into directing, earning an Oscar nomination for his work on First Love in 1970. What set Maximilian Schell apart was his relentless pursuit of artistic expression. His roles weren't mere performances, they were profound explorations of the human condition. This commitment earned him numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe for his role in The Man in the Glass Booth. Shell's artistic curiosity knew no bounds. Beyond Hollywood, he embraced European cinema, working with iconic directors like Vittorio De Sica and Rainer Werner Fassbinder. His multilingual prowess allowed him to seamlessly transition between English, German, and other languages, expanding his global impact. Despite his success, Shell remained grounded, often expressing disdain for the superficiality of fame. He embraced the art, not the accolades, carving a niche as an actor who sought the essence of each character he portrayed. Maximilian Shell's legacy endures, not just in the films that immortalize him, but in the hearts of those who recognize the indelible mark he left on the cinematic landscape. His life was a tapestry woven with passion, intellect, and an unyielding commitment to the craft of acting. In 2014, at the age of 83, Maximilian Schell took his final bow, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire and resonate with audiences worldwide. His impact echoes in the corridors of film history, a testament to the transformative power of a man who dared to delve into the complexities of the human soul. Maximilian Schell, a luminary in the world of acting, left an enduring legacy beyond the silver screen. His versatility extended beyond acting, venturing into directing. In 1970, he earned an Oscar nomination for directing First Love. Later in life, Shell delved into operatic productions, directing a Swiss production of Verdi's La Traviata inspired by his experiences in the play Jetterman in Salzburg from 1978 to 1982, where he collaborated with musical conductors like Leonard Bernstein, James Levine, and Claudio Abbado. As a part-time director, Schell's documentary Marlene was an Oscar nominee in 1985. His last film, Main Schwester Maria, chronicled the life and career of his actress sister, Maria Schell, offering a poignant glimpse into her eventual diminished capacity. Intriguingly, Schell, despite a prolific career, appeared in only one film with his sister, Maria the Odessa File. This unique collaboration adds a distinctive touch to his filmography. 
Maximilian Schell's journey in the cinematic world was not just about performances, but also marked by a passionate exploration of various artistic mediums, leaving an indelible mark on the realms of both acting and directing. Maximilian Schell, a trailblazer in the realm of acting, achieved a remarkable milestone by becoming the first actor to win an Oscar for a role he originally performed on television. In 1959, he showcased his talent in an episode of Playhouse 90, setting the stage for his iconic Oscar-winning performance in Judgment at Nuremberg. This feat, shared only with Cliff Robertson, adds a unique layer to Shell's legacy, emphasizing his early mastery of the craft. In 1990, Shell made a noteworthy decision when he declined an honorary German film award. Despite his significant contributions to the film industry, he felt it was premature to accept an award for lifetime achievement at that point in his career. This bold move reflects his humility and a commitment to earning accolades through ongoing contributions rather than resting on past laurels. Shell's directorial prowess also left an indelible mark, with two of his films, First Love and The Pedestrian, receiving Oscar nominations for foreign language films. This aspect of his career highlights his multifaceted talent and contribution to both acting and directing on the international stage. Maximilian Schell's journey in the cinematic world was not only about groundbreaking performances, but also marked by pivotal moments that shaped the landscape of film history. His impact continues to resonate, a testament to a career defined by innovation and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Maximilian Schell, a true maestro of the cinematic arts, not only left an indelible mark through his captivating performances, but also ventured into the directorial realm, unveiling a new facet of his creative brilliance. The synergy of talent within the Schell family became abundantly evident as he helmed two remarkable films, The Pedestrian and End of the Game, both of which featured his mother, the equally talented Marguerite Schell No. In The Pedestrian, Shell skillfully wove a narrative that transcended the boundaries of conventional storytelling, offering audiences a thought-provoking cinematic experience. The film, much like its title, navigated the intricacies of life's journey, blending realism with artistic finesse. Meanwhile, End of the Game showcased Shell's directorial prowess in crafting suspenseful narratives, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. What makes these directorial endeavors even more remarkable is the familial bond that permeates through the screen. Collaborating with his mother, Marguerite Shellno, added a layer of authenticity and emotional depth to the films. This familial connection not only resonated on screen but also behind the scenes, creating a harmonious blend of creativity and kinship. Maximilian Schell's foray into directing, particularly with his family by his side, stands as a testament to his multifaceted talent and the importance he placed on the bonds of family. These films not only contribute to his legacy as an accomplished actor and director, but also serve as a poignant reminder of the power of collaboration and shared creativity within the cinematic world. In the end, Maximilian Schell's directorial ventures with his mother are unique and cherished chapter in the grand narrative of his illustrious career. As the curtains draw to a close, take a moment to linger in the echoes of Maximilian Schell's cinematic legacy. Let the silver screen unravel the tapestry of memories woven by this extraordinary actor. Perhaps you recall the intensity of his performances or the subtle nuances that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share the scenes that resonate with you, the characters that linger in your thoughts, and the emotions stirred by Shell's masterful portrayals. Invite introspection as you delve into the recesses of your connection with this cinematic luminary. In this collective exploration, let us celebrate the tapestry of experiences woven by each viewer. Your reflections add vibrant threads to the rich fabric of appreciation for Maximilian Shell's contributions to the world of entertainment. It's more than just a farewell, it's an invitation to share, connect, and immortalize the impact of a thespian whose brilliance transcends time. As the credits roll, take a bow for being part of this shared narrative. Your voice, your memories, and your musings become integral chapters in the story of Maximilian Schell's enduring influence on the silver screen. Thank you for joining this reflective journey, appreciating the artistry of Maximilian Schell, and contributing your unique brushstroke to the canvas of cinematic history. Until the next act unfolds, keep the spirit of storytelling alive in your own way.